Okay, so we're going to do a quick, and it's going to be very quick because I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. So we're going to do a quick Poppy Playtime Chapter 1 Menu Mod Overview. How do you make your first mod menu? So you're going to create these directories in your 426 Unreal project. Um, you're going to create an assets. It's very important to have capital letters, blueprints, and physics. Now, the reason why we're doing this is in the physics um, of the game, there is a thing called stool blueprint that happens to be called in the map. And so, as soon as you start the game, you will create this stool underscore blueprint. There you go. All right, so you're going to also make, might as well make it now, a user interface widget blueprint and this is going to be the first we'll call it first it doesn't matter what you call that all right so inside a stool blueprint we're going to open it up and you're going to go to the event graph and click on event begin play and the first thing we're going to do here is we are going to call um, what should we do enable input we will do that um, on the player character so here you have to get player controller player controller and that will enable input so we can turn the menu on and off um, I may not do that for this one but we will eventually do that so then, as far as showing the widget, we're going to say create widget, if I can remember this stuff. And the class is going to be our first. All right. And then we're going to have to do some other things to actually show it. So visible to make it visible. And what is that? Um, if I can remember, focus widget. Uh, I have to look that up. I can't remember. So let's start with that. Now, our first widget has nothing in it. So we got to go over here and we actually design our button. So we just throw a big button in the middle here. So if we want to create a button, there are buttons and other things here. So we'll just throw one big button right here. And when we click it, we're going to do something. So on clicked, we click on this. And this is the on clicked. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do something so that we know that we clicked it. And what I usually do is I just issue a console command and do a show debug or something like that. So I know that something happened. That's the quickest way to test if something's working. Um, so we do, what is it? Execute console command execute console command so this anything that UUU can do you can pretty much do right here so if you typed in um, stat levels I like to do and you can do it on the specific player I believe we have to we don't have to I don't think so so this is all we're gonna do is just stat levels and we're gonna see if this works so this is gonna be your first thing so we just got these two things to compile and then we're going to package them in the proper place. Now because we're not dealing with any uh, skeletal meshes or anything like that, if we were doing a reskin, we don't have to worry about some of the issues that you're going to have with that, with like skeletons that you don't want to replace or any of that stuff. So we can pretty much just pack this right into a pack file. Now usually I choose not to, but in your package settings, you can flip-flop whether it goes into a pack file or not. So. Okay, so I decided that you're going to have just have to do it without doing a pack file. Otherwise, you're going to get a bunch of other junk in there, and that's going to really mess things up. So inside your packaging settings, turn off use pack file, okay? That's number one. Now, once you build this, you're going to end up with wherever you built it. In your directory, you're going to have a first U asset and a first UX, UEXP and the stool blueprints, okay? Now, you're going to have four files versus inside, this is not to be confused with your content directory, which only has one file 
which is for the editor, not what you're going to pack. So keep that in mind where your Windows No Editor is. That is where you're going to actually pack this. All right, so now to pack it, you're going to go into a PowerShell. To get to a PowerShell or a command prompt, you can just type in in your Windows test bar, PowerShell, and you'll get this. Now you're going to type in wherever your Unreal Engine Editor Binaries Win64 directory is. You're going to change to that directory. And you'll know that you're there because when you do a directory, you'll have all the Unreal Editor stuff. And within that is Unreal Pack. And Unreal Pack EXE is what we're going to execute in order to pack this. So the ugly command that you're going to want to make, um, well, we technically should make a create in the create file. So I'm going to type this thing in here. Um, so we're going to the line you're going to want. And I can leave this in the description in the video is wherever you packed your physics. Okay. Now you can do it individually with stool blueprint and the other one is, is my first whatever. Or in this case, because we just can pack that whole directory, you can do star dot star. You'll get away with that. And then this is what you're going to want here. A bunch of dot dot slash dot dot slash. This gets it into the right place. Okay. So this is all you need. And you're going to save this off somewhere where you can find it. Type menu. All right. That should work. Now, there we go. Actually got 16 files. Okay. Why was, oh, there's 16 files in there. That's not what I want. It should only have been four files. It says there's only four four files, so you know what? This is the wrong. This is from another project I did a long time ago. So these are not the files I just packed. This is called when you have too many projects going on. So this project is not the one I want. So I actually put it into the clean FPS one. There we go. So that's where this directory is. Again, this is what gets me so confused. Chapter one mod menu, and we got four files. Thank goodness. See, that, that tipped me off that I did the wrong thing. All right, now if we go and look in our packs directory, suddenly we have this new pack. And it's not much of anything because it's just a couple of blueprints. So now if we run the game, we will see if we get a button. All right, let's try this. Is a set visibility and you want to pull your widget off of that, then you also have to set the input mode. So this requires your player controller to come in, and you should show your mouse cursor as well, and that is that. So this ought to give you a menu that's just going to pop up, and you're not going to be able to hide it, okay? It's just going to be a button or a menu if you change the outline. So go ahead and, and compile this, and then repack it, okay? okay well. You're probably not going to get very far with it doing this because I believe there's two stool inputs, I mean stool stool blueprints, and the only way I got it to really work is if you check to make sure you've only created one widget. But since it's just going to be easier to show you how to add a key input to turn the menu on and off, we will do a get key, and you have to turn off context sensitive to see it. Oops, not get key value. Shoot. See, I always forget this stuff. Get key, right? Key event. So, good, good, good. And there's quicker shortcuts for this, but okay. So, key pressed. So, if number two is pressed, then that's not how we do it. Yes, number two is pressed. Duh. Then we're going to create the widget. Um, we don't need this here anymore. OK, so if 2 is pressed, we create this widget. Um, well, first we have to check to see if it's already been created. So create a new Boolean, add a variable, and say, I like to say menu active, something like that. I don't know. Menu active, 
and by default it's going to be false. So when you compile it is false because it's not checked. So then you do a branch and you say branch if the menu is not active then we're going to create it. If the menu is active, we're going to show it. So if it's active, we show. If it's not active, we create. So this creates our menu the first time, adds to the viewport, sets its visibility, and the mouse focus. All right, so if it is already active, then we're going to copy the set visibility. And we want to toggle. So I forgot how I did this in the original. Well, if it's already there, we're going to set visibility to visible. And you can set invisibility to invisible. But the main thing is that we're only going to add it to the viewport once and set the game mode to back to regular game if we hit it again. So this is a toggle, basically. Every time you press 2, it's going to... No, this isn't toggling. What am I trying to do? <laughs> logic. Uh, yeah, do the logic. Figure out the logic on your own, because uh, I can't think of logic. I've done this so long ago that I really don't remember. And I am trying to remember. So set input back to game mode game mode only and you need the player controller and you want to do this as a toggle so it's just going to set visibility so let's see we need to make sure we create it once then we need a toggle so if it's true it already exists then we're going to go and do a toggle Toggle, 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 not toggle open. Where's this toggle? Um, what's toggle? Uh, flip flop. Why do they call it flip flop? Eh. All right, toggle, flip flop. <laughs> so, flip flop, if it's going to be invisible, we're going to make it hidden. So, this is if it already exists make it hidden, and if it flip-flops, we're going to set the visibility there and skip it. Okay, that should do it. And you also have to set the mouse something here. I can't remember what. Set mouse. Well, basically just copy this, but turn the mouse off, I think. Mouse cursor, I think. I don't remember. Show mouse cursor, because oh, we don't want to show it after we go back. Oops, and we need a target for the this thing to be visible, and the player is there. Compile. Yay, compile. All right, let's try that. Let me see if it works this time. All right, so now we're in the game, and as you see, there's no button. And if we hit 2, the button appears, and we have focus. And if we click it, we get the stat levels tells us what is loaded and what is not quite loaded but is ready to be loaded. Um, so there you have that and if you click it again it gets rid of it. If you hit the number two again it closes your menu and gives you control back. And there you have the first mod menu that you will make so that you can learn how to make a mod menu for chapter one. And that's all I can do. This took way longer than I wanted it to several several hours so um i need to get back to work or i'm gonna starve so if you make mods or use my mods please give me some credit because i'm getting tired of it now um i've been tired of it all year but thank you all hope you enjoyed the mod i told you i would make a tutorial and there you have it